Hello everyone, welcome to a quick demo on Eniot Orange. Um, as you may be aware, with Selenium taking over the test automation world, um, we have kind of put together a great interface that kind of combines a test management and automation into one workplace for you. Uh, so once you go to anyot.com and click on join us, um, you would go into a join us section where it also talks about the architecture. In put simple words, we have a web front end where you can manage all your test artifacts. And then we have our core engine, which is built on Selenium with Java as a platform, which does the execution on cross browsers and generates a great report for you to look at. So once you join and log in, you would come to be uh, welcome to a dashboard, something like this. Uh, this is where you start to manage complete your your complete test artifacts. So right from creating modules under your application, breaking each module into multiple test cases and each one into test steps. Um, what we have done with any art is also the fact of reusable components to a very large extent. So we've combined the framework automation framework concepts and put that in here. So when we talk about reusable elements, I'm talking about a page object model or a page factory. A test data gives us the ability to execute our tests against multiple sets of uh, data and that's a data driven framework and when I say user defined keywords, these are nothing but keyword uh, uh, driven framework that we have been exposed to. All this have been built in into simple uh, uh, manageable forms where you can maintain all of this information for the application and its related testing components. Uh, once you have managed all these components and you've kind of gone through the flow, we get into the test run setup. So all that you've done manually with absolute zero coding so far, you get a chance to say which test cases I want to execute uh, from each module, be able to associate it with multiple sets of test data and say that this set of test case, I would like to execute it for these sets of test data. And you could choose that across your application and prepare what we call as a run. Once your run is ready and prepared, what we have done to keep things simple and for an opportunity for users to switch anytime between manual and automation testing is an Excel file. An Excel file that looks something uh, very simple. Uh, all that you've done in the web UI is kind of managed and maintained here. Right from the application, all the modules to the individual test steps. Now this uh, setup that is executed goes this Excel file goes as an input to our desktop engine. Now once you kind of go through the following instructions and install the application on your desktop, you can fill in the form with let's say uh, test Kartik Kartik and I select that Excel which is one second. Let me see where that Excel is. All right, I found it. It's in the test run underscore demo. Uh, this is where whatever we selected for execution is kind of concentrated and we give a default time or depending on how fast your speed or network is and then we click on execute automation test. At this point, the engine is preparing everything in the background and will launch the individual test cases and start the execution. Once the execution is completed, uh, we will get a report generated on a local machine that so I'm letting the execution continue team like you can see on the machine right now and let it happen for a few seconds. I'll switch quickly to our, our reports. So we've got one test case executed. I think two of them and the remaining ones will get executed. And what happens is at the end of it, you will get presented uh, with uh, the entire folder with the results mentioned into a team. Now what you do is you take that report file, you have a zip file that gets generated and you put it back into your system for a later point reference. So I did execute this uh, specific run and then I upload it for a later reference of how that regression execution happened. Uh, so for a user to see how things have performed, uh, an extent report is generated. That is the 
free tool that we using for in your orange in which it tells me that I executed four test cases in this case and it tells me exactly that each step passed no issues with it and what time how long it took uh, and at the end it is showing me why it failed and whenever a failure happens I'm able to capture and see how does the application look and why didn't it happen so when it comes to your functional regression testing these uh, simple uh, features that we built into any art will give you a great uh, platform to make better applications overall um, with a high level dashboard it tells me exactly how long the test took to complete how many steps I executed and where it failed how it failed uh, so at any art you're able to quickly execute your functional regression testing manage your uh, test suite and also do automation run at the same time. Hopefully this will be helpful for you to get started and play around with the tool. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye now.